In today's video, we're gonna go through seven settings that you need to change on your brand new S24 Ultra. I've been using the phone around a week now and I've found each of these settings to help and improve my S24 Ultra experience. So let's get into the first one. Now the first one you want to change is performance profile. To do this, you need to go to settings, search performance profile. Then here you can change it to light or keep it as standard. Now I recently went away to Ireland where I changed it to light so I can conserve battery life over the few days that I was there and stay away from the wall that bit longer. The next one is also to do with battery. However, this is less about saving it and just ensuring the longevity of it. So again, we want to swipe down and tap that gear icon, search for battery protection. So here you can toggle this on and there's three different options. You've got basic, which essentially will charge your phone to 100%, then stop charging rather than keep charging it up. The next part is adaptive. This sort of learns your sleep times and how you charge your phone and then will allow you to fast charge at times and then slow charge at other times. Then the last one is maximum, which is almost like a manual mode of that, where your battery will just stop charging when it hits 80%. This can be useful, say if you're on shift patterns and don't regularly charge your phone at the same time. Most people here will probably just use adaptive as I'm going to do as well. Now, moving on to the next one, and it was one of the first settings that I personally changed. It was so annoying pressing and holding that power button and Bixby popping up. So to stop that, just swipe down, hit that gear icon again, then search buttons and hit side button. Here you have two different options. And the one we're gonna change here is press and hold, which will change from wake Bixby to power off menu. This means as soon as I press and hold, I just get the power off menu rather than Bixby. While you're in here though, I also changed the double press. So instead of quick launching the camera, which is useful, I changed it to launch Google Wallet. This is something I found useful as it's something I used on my iPhone all the time. So I just found that familiar setting for me. The next thing you'll want to do is enable one-handed mode. One-handed mode essentially allows you to just use a gesture where you swipe down and then it shrinks this little window. You can then make this smaller or bigger. Depending on whether you're using your left or right hand, you can change the size of the screen it's on as well. Now to enable it, all you have to do is swipe down, hit that gear icon again, search, then put one-handed and turn it on in here. You can either change this to be swipe down from the center like I have, or actually use double tap the home button to enable it as well. Now, the next thing is something I found because I was used to using an iPhone. So I found something called pixel search. It's this little Google bar here. And if you tap it, you can search through your apps. You can search on Google, the app store, Netflix, YouTube music, you name it. I absolutely love this little toolbar. Now to download this, you will need to go to the Play Store, then search Pixel Search, and then download this one here. Honestly, I couldn't recommend this app enough. It's been a lifesaver over these past few days. The next thing I changed was actually a few of the display settings. So to do this, tap that gear icon again, search for display, then in here, you can scroll down and go to screen resolution. Now from the factory, it will just be in full HD plus. Now, as an ultra user, I wanted mine in quad HD plus. As to be honest, I've paid for the screen, so I want the best resolution out of it. And to be honest, battery life is not a problem on it. So just tap quad HD there and press apply. Now while you're in here, it might be worth checking out screen mode as well. Out of the box, it's set to vivid. I personally prefer the natural profile, however, play around the two and just see what looks better to your eye. It may be worth looking at dark mode settings as well. Essentially, I've set mine to automatically trigger at sunset to sunrise. However, you may want to turn it on all the time or set your own schedule here as well. Now, the last one here is called good luck. 
this is actually in the Galaxy Store rather than the Play Store. So first, let's head over to the Galaxy Store, then search for GoodLock and download and install it. So GoodLock is essentially an app where you can customize almost anything on your S24 Ultra. There's little theme packs as well where you can adjust things like the keyboard settings, adjust the background so it matches the rest of the icons. Then you've got things like Pentastic. Good luck has so many different things that you can customize that I can't go through them all here. However, a few of my favorites include customizing your always on display, edge lighting, which will change the lighting around your display depending on the notifications that come through and customized gestures as well. So there we go. There's seven different settings that you should change on your S24 Ultra. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. And if we've missed anything, make sure you drop it in the comments down below.